hello friends welcome back to the tutorial form validation using javascript we are learning how to create a javascript to validate a complete form in the last tutorial we have created a function to uh, display these custom error messages below the respective input fields now in this tutorial we will create a function to remove these error messages after a user uh, enter a correct correct information uh, into the input field so let's start let's see how we can do that this is the external javascript file that we are using now let's create one more function comment function removes error message function name it as remove warning function remove warning the remove warning function will use uh, two parameters uh, let's see what are those parameters and how we can uh, call this parameter now uh, after um, entering some value in the input field like this uh, is I've entered this information and when we remove the focus from the input field uh, it the text input field first calls the function check empty now this check empty function validates uh, checks the input field or validates the input field and sees that if it has some value in it or it is empty if the input field is empty then it will display this message you can't leave this empty and if the input field has some value uh, then we'll call the remove error function here this if statement checks for the value my value dot value is equal to is equal to empty and if it is empty then it will call this display error function and if the input field <coughs> has some value in it then uh, we will call that remove error function so remove warning the remove warning function will use uh, two uh, parameters first is the id of the input field and second is the id of the parent development as we are passing here so copy uh, the same from here uh, display warning function and paste it here paste it. so save this now let's see how we can use these uh, arguments to uh, remove the error messages from the div element now first add the parameters to the uh, remove warning function first i is uh, the id of the input field so we'll call it as field id next is the id of the parent div element so we'll call it as um, parent div so uh, this will give the id of the input field and this will give the id of the parent uh, div element now first we will check that uh, the parent div element has any error um, message or has any p element which displays the error message as we have done here so let's see variable mm error message or error element let's call it as error element is equal to uh, same document dot get element by id id is the parent div which is the id of the parent div element so 
pass it here parent div next is the uh, query selector we want uh, to know the uh, length of the query selector on all the p elements which has this class which is dot uh, warning message mm, then save next we'll check the length of the p elements which has this class if error elements uh, is greater than zero that is if div element has any error message in it then we will remove it now to remove the error message we'll use this statement error element of zero because uh, it will have only one error message so it will be the first child error element of zero this gives an array of all the p elements in the uh, div element so we'll use this error of error element of zero then its parent node parent node then dot remove child remove child and the child will be again same error element of zero now next we uh, want we will remove that red border from the input element so to do this document we'll use this statement document dot get element by id id is the field id field id then then dot uh, we have a property called class list which gives the uh, list of all classes that uh, this element has and then uh, next dot remove class warning message it gives a list of uh, classes that uh, this element has and then from that list will remove the uh, warning message class next on uh, success or as uh, the input field has some value in it so we'll add uh, a green border to the input field now to do this document dot get element by id then use the same field id here then dot uh, add a class called class name plus as we have added the message warning class warning message class or warning border class similarly we will add this success border class here now let's write uh, some rules for this class in our html file as we have written for the other class two classes here below the warning border class we'll just add this class and copy this from here and we'll just change the color of the border we'll make it as uh, green 
save this and come here uh, let's check it one more time we have done all correct let's verify it so it is correct now save we have saved it now let's refresh the page now error message is displayed now after giving a valid information it must remove this no it is not reviewing mm, we may have done some mistakes in the code let's check it out uh, sorry friends we have done a mistake here we haven't added the dot length property here so now save this again and let's try it one more time refresh the page error message and then write the name here and then now you can see uh, the error message is gone but the there is no green border now we have one more error in the code now let's see what we have done one more thing wrong so friends we have uh, two mistakes here in the code it is just a silly mistake uh, spelling mistake it is uh, this c is not capital one it is small c class list dot remove border warning border this removes this class and this mm, is also this small c and uh, this adds the success border class to the uh, input field one more thing uh, just remove this statement from here copy it and paste it um, after this if statement because uh, if um, an user adds the correct information uh, in first time only then uh, there is no error message before so the um, control will not execute this so uh, we want uh, the green border uh, whenever the user enters and correct uh, enters a correct information in the input field so to display that uh, write this statement after the if statement so this these are the just a few mistakes we have done in our code now let's see one more time if save it and refresh the page now we have an error here so I'll just enter the information and you can see there is the green border and also there is um, error message is gone in this way we can give some styles uh, to show that the user have entered correct information and also uh, we can remove the error message so friends uh, this completes uh, the uh, function remove warning function uh, so we'll leave the tutorial here we'll meet in the next tutorial uh, please subscribe to my channel and also share my videos and give a thumbs up and if you have any doubts uh, please comment below the video thank you for watching we'll meet in the next tutorial